is Belle, and I'm here to tell you how to buy books for readers. Obviously, I'm thinking about Christmas coming up and buying presents for people, but this works for any occasion. And I am uniquely talented in talking about this subject because I'm a reader, and people have been buying books for me since I was tiny. And no offense to my family if they're watching, but sometimes they just didn't get me any books that I wanted. So, if you need to buy books for a reader for Christmas or birthday or any other reason, here are a few tips for you. Also, I know that if you're watching my channel, you probably are already a reader, so if that's you, you should just share this all over Facebook and Twitter and anywhere else so that your family takes the hint. Number one, the internet is your friend. Chances are, although not totally positive, but chances are, your reader is online talking about books somewhere, whether that's Goodreads, or Pinterest, or a blog, or YouTube, or Tumblr, or Twitter. They probably talk about what they like to read somewhere. Now, if they have a Goodreads, that might be your best bet, where they can have a to-be-read list. Give that a shot. Um, Pinterest, they might be pinning pictures of books that they're interested in, or fandoms. They might be penning art or um, trailers or who knows what from a book fandom they are part of. Um, they might be tweeting about books that they like or authors that they like. And really you can stalk their Facebook, see if they follow any authors, or um, if they're in their interest they say that there are particular books or authors they're interested in, then that's a good bet. The thing is, you have to be careful because they might already have a book that they've been talking about. Even on Goodreads, if it's on To Be Read, they might just not have updated it. So the next step is to stock their bookshelves, if you can. That's not always possible, but if you can, look the bookshelves, take a sneaky picture, um, and you're looking for, especially if there's a book that you're already interested in buying, you're trying to find out if it's already there. Or look for trends. If there's a particular genre that they really enjoy, if there's a particular author they have multiple books by, especially if it's not a series, then give that author a look. They'll probably enjoy whatever from that author that you buy them. But if you can, stock the bookshelves. Um, the other idea I have for finding out what a reader is interested in is to go to a bookstore with them. I know I enjoy just going to Barnes & Noble or to local stores just for fun to look at the books and see what's out. And if I go with my friends, I totally talk to them about, oh, I can't wait to get that one and oh, I love this author and oh, I just really can't wait to buy that book. And you know, you might get some good ideas. I can't tell you for sure how to do that without it being suspicious to the reader, but you know, good luck. They probably won't argue about going to a bookstore or a library. A library might work as well, but probably not quite to the same extent. So when you're actually buying, my other suggestion would be to um, buy n newer publications or really old publications. So. The chances are that if you get a super new book for them, they might not have it yet. If you're talking about a really aggressive reader, they might have pre-ordered it or gotten it as soon as it came out. So hopefully your internet stocking would have told you that. But older books work as well. So um, one of my other ideas would be to potentially buy used. And that sounds cookie at first because you don't want to give someone a used book. Um, for example, I have several and they have markings on them. Um, there are a lot of them for, from libraries, so they might have writing in them or stamps or whatever. But um, if you buy used books, like from a thrift store or from a used bookstore, you can probably get more than one. So you can buy a collection, whether it's a series or a sampling from multiple different genres or multiple authors. And then the final thing that I would say is to then make it personal. So regardless of whether this is a stack of used books or whether it's a brand new book that you bought them, accompany it with some kind of note um, or mul maybe multiple notes talking about why you really thought that this, that this reader would enjoy the book. So especially if you get used books, consider buying books that you've enjoyed if you read 
were just talking about the research you did, that this is a well-known author, that somebody that you know told them that it was, told you that it was a really good book, and accompany that with a note. So that the reader knows that you really put some thought into it, um, especially if you're giving them a book that you personally recommend, that you've read and you love, that means a lot to me. Um, and probably I think to most readers. And I love getting new books that I've never heard of before because um, there are always so many books that I want to read. And especially if it's a genre I really love, sometimes it feels like there's nothing good to out there to read, that I've read everything good already. So if you manage to find something that I've never heard of before and turns out to be really great, that's like the best possible present. But even if you get to me something brand new, something that's just out and is super famous and a lot of other people like it, accompany it with a note. Talk to me about um, your experiences with books or why you thought I would be interested in this one. Or um, if you've read it, that's, I mean, that's something nice to do ahead of time. You can read even that very copy and then leave little notes throughout it to the person. It depends on your relationship. but. Anything you can do to make the gift really personal helps a lot. It's not just a book, it's an experience, it's a shared um, discussion of values and character and feeling and experience and that means a lot to a reader. So that's my biggest recommendation. You might still flop, it might not be a book that we enjoy, but your reader will appreciate the fact that you thought about them, that you put time and effort into their interests, and a reader can never have too many books. So, for my readers, tell me in the comments, do you have other suggestions about how to buy books for a reader? Have you guys gotten any really bad book gifts? And what are you reading right now or hoping to get for Christmas that you can read? I have a couple on my list, so I might drop those down in the comments or the description. And I will see you guys next time.